Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial on understanding the file sizes. Um, I'm going to show you different units used in the industry, you know, primarily to represent the data sizes or the file sizes or to represent any device that uh, uh, that can hold some data you know to primarily to represent the device capacity say for example you have a hard drive so you need a uh, some sort of uh, a unit that would represent the amount of data that can be stored on that particular device so uh, let's get to the next uh, slide here I mean to say the first slide. Um, okay, here here's a, a list of units that are used to uh, represent the file size or uh, a data size. Starting with bit, it's a bit, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, and eurobyte. And uh, the size here from top. To bottom it is um, ascending order and if you go from bottom to up it's in the descending order meaning uh, you would use uh, the units that are here the bottom side to describe or to you know to represent a large data uh, da large data sizes or large files and the ones at the top normally you would use it to um, uh, to describe small uh, sizes say for example you have a, a resume uh, sorry if you have a, a resume and uh, you know it would normally range from 1 MB to you know 5 MB you would normally use the unit MB which is here and you would not write you will not convert this into GB and then say that your resume is 0 0.001 GB I mean that's not a normal practice you you would use a unit that is close to the size so it's easy to represent uh, likewise you know you take a hard drive uh, hard drives come in you know different sizes say for example you have 500 GB or let's say you have one terabyte drive uh, we'll look at uh, what terabyte means in terms of GB and what GB means in terms of megabytes you know we'll look at that here in a minute but uh, what I'm trying to get to is depending on the size of the data you would use appropriate unit that is listed here and again that depends on the size of the data so let's go to the next slide um okay here uh here you go here uh, it's convergence you know it, it uh, this slide shows you uh what uh how you can convert i mean you, you can use these numbers to convert uh a, a one particular unit into another so starting with a bit a bit is either zero or one it's a digital bit uh you put eight bits together it's a byte and then you know 1024 bytes you put together it's a kb kilobyte and then you know one megabyte is 1024 kb and one gigabyte is 1024 mb one terabyte is 1024 gb and one petabyte is 1024 uh sorry one petabyte is 1024 terabyte and like what Okay, uh, now that uh, we have this information, we should be able to convert, uh, say for example, a GB into terabyte or GB into megabyte or, you know, for that matter, into a kilobyte or bytes or bits, you know, uh, you can do that all day long just with this piece of information on this uh, slide. Um, now that at least, you know, we have an idea that we have uh, different uh, units, let's see, uh, or at least let's give a practical approach on, you know, what does this mean in our daily life? So let me go to the next slide. Okay, let's um, look at this. So. You know, a floppy CD, DVD, you know, dual layer DVD, you might have heard all this, you know, you'll also have hard drive. 
you'll have you know jump or thumb drive you know floppy you might have you know not seen it uh, nobody uses these you know floppies nowadays uh, it's uh, 1.44 mb in size i mean there are floppy drives that are smaller than uh, this size you know way back like 15 years ago yes people were using them cd is uh, 700 mb in size dvd is 4.7 gb look at here different unit dual layer is twice this because it has twice the capacity of that hard drive comes in different sizes uh, let's say for example 15 years ago uh, you know 10 GB to 100 GB was pretty common for uh, domestic purposes but nowadays what do we see we see 500 GB 1 terabyte 2 terabyte you know these sizes are pretty common nowadays so you try to buy a laptop you know you'll most likely get a 500 gb hard drive in it thumb drives again you know it comes in different sizes uh it could be you know 512 mb all the way up to you know even you know 64 gb or even more and i have seen 128 gb uh, thumb drive as well so at least now we have an idea on uh, the different you know sizes based on the device now let's see uh, what it means in terms of uh, in terms of oh, let me resize this okay let's look at it in terms of you know what it means in a file size say for example you know you use your digital camera and you start taking pictures if your uh, digital camera is um, you know kind of less than uh, 5 megapixel then your file is typically around 2 MB or less than 2 MB and if you have a like 10 megapixel camera you're looking at you know um, file sizes ranging from actually you know 5 to 15 or 20 MB it again depends on your camera settings it's not just this if you take a, a raw picture photo using digital SLR you'll find you know you'll get a pretty good picture but you know the file size will be larger let's take an example you know let's say you have a, a 15 megapixel camera right your file size will be you know more i mean it's not one-to-one -one relation hey you know is it is it 15 mb size for a photo taken by a 15 megapixel camera that's not the case it's just for for the sake of understanding but you know what i'm trying to get to is you know the as the resolution of the camera increases you know it's uh, from 5 to 15 to 20 megapixel the size the file size of the photo will also increase accordingly so that's what i mean now uh, let's uh, let, let's take a, um, a quick um, look at how we can uh, uh, you know convert uh, one unit into other we'll take a specific example look at it and you know the same thing applies to other you know things as well so let's uh, take a look at that okay here uh, the whole idea here is to uh, convert uh, 700 MB into bits, bytes, and GB. And well, you know, 700 MB is nothing but that's the size of a CD. So to convert 700 MB, so 700, we know that 1 MB is how many kilobytes? It's 1024. So 700 times 1024 kilobytes. Next, what we do is we convert KB into bytes, and we know that one KB is equal to 1024 bytes. So we do 700 times 1024. Now, instead of KB, we will write times 1024 bytes. So multiplying all these numbers, we have, you know, these many bytes. Now, um, I guess it's very simple um, it's just you're replacing the unit with converting unit and you're multiplying the numbers 
so uh, take a couple of minutes and uh, see if you can convert 700 MB into bytes and then see if you can convert the, convert that into GB uh, a clue here uh, for uh, for bits you will continue with a multiplication but for GB you will have to divide so make sure you use appropriate number and divide and you should get that in GB well uh, this concludes this uh, short video I hope uh, you now have a, a better understanding on the data sizes thank you very much